Cooney, maybe you and Sinclair should stay with the ships. What? Just need to find Cress. State your business. My name is Quintain. I'm here to see Cress. Colonel Cress sees no one. He'll see me. He sees no one. Don't go and do that. Now that I've got your attention, take us to see the Colonel. I think, my friend, you misunderstand your position. I'm expendable. Dr. Quintain. Cress. I'm pleased to see that you're all right after all. And you brought protection. Very wise. Please tell him to stand down. Mr. Trent. Come, Dr. Quintain. We have much to talk about. Let me offer you the sanctuary of my base. Thank you. We'll need a place to continue our research. We have facilities at your disposal, of course. You see, we've had our eye on Dr. Quintain and his research for quite some time. When Dr. Sinclair made her discovery, it caused quite a stir among our enemies. What enemies? The Rhinelanders? Let's just say that your enemies are our enemies. Give me a straight answer. Who do you work for, Colonel? The Order. You work for Aurelian? Despite what you may have heard, we are only interested in freedom and peace. If that's so, then why all of the attacks? I understand your suspicion, but we are not guilty of nearly as much as your media would suggest. For now, please accept my hospitality and the spirit in which it is offered. Tell me, what else do you require of me? What if I'm right? There's something we've overlooked. We need the Proteus Tome. What's that? It's a piece of parchment that rests in the Natural History Museum in Kasari. I think it holds the answer to the artifact. It's kept in a sealed titanium cylinder in the archives. Very well. That shouldn't be difficult. We have an agent in Kusari who may be useful for this. Lord Hutler. He's a local potentate. He can arrange for its liberation. No dice, Cress. I'm going myself. You don't really trust me, do you, Mr. Trent? No. But if, as you say, your enemies are our enemies, you won't deny me this. Or me. If you're going, I'm going. 